Hi. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use three tools that you're really going to use on a regular basis. If you look down here, we have polar tracking, object snap, and object snap tracking. And the majority of the time, like I said, you're going to want to make sure those are turned on. If they're blue in color, the way you see them now, they're turned on. If they're a shade of gray, that means they're off. If I start out and just draw a quick square, say two by two inches, I'm actually going to stop here just to show you this example as to how object snaps work. If I go back to the line tool and draw my new line from this endpoint, we call this an endpoint. And hover my, if I hover my mouse over that point, you can see that green square. That's the endpoint, and that's what we call snapping to an endpoint. So my mouse identified the point. I can click on it perfectly because it finds it, recognizes it, and I can draw from there. If I take that object snap and turn it off, and now show you what happens when it's off, I can no longer find that endpoint. My mouse does not recognize it. So that's an important tool to have on so that you draw quickly and efficiently. If I right click, a new menu opens and I can turn off and on other snapping modes like midpoint, center, and quadrant. They're the most common ones that I recommend you have on. The rest of these we don't use as much, but we'll talk about later in the class. To show you how quadrant and center and midpoint work, if I go back to this example and I draw a line, and I wanted to snap to the midpoint of this line, it finds it for me. That's what the green triangle is, representing midpoint. And I could snap to that point and draw from there. If I have a circle and I wanted to draw a line, it is identifying the quadrants. You have it as a symbol for quadrant, and it's finding the center of the circle as well. So I could snap to any of those locations to make, again, drawing very fast and efficient. If I want to close this square, I'll snap to that endpoint, I'll do to enter on my keyboard, and instead of typing to enter on my keyboard again, I'm just going to come over here and click on end endpoint, it's obviously much faster than typing. Now, the other tool is polar tracking. If you notice when I draw a line, there's a green dashed line that appears. You can see it when my mouse is drawing vertically or horizontally. And what it is, is it's snapping my line to those increments. And that makes drawing vertically, vertical and horizontal lines very easy and fast. If I turn that off and draw a line just to show you, now it does not snap to any degree and so that would make drawing a horizontal line much harder and time take much more time as well. So that's a great tool that I would recommend you always have on. If I right click on polar tracking I can set different increments. I would turn 30 on when we start to draw isometric shapes because it'll snap to 30 degrees as well as all increments of 30, 60, 90, and so on. So that'll make drawing isometrics very fast for you. And the last tool is object snap tracking, which is similar to polar tracking, and we're going to be keeping our eye on that green line, that green dashed line that's, that's being made. So if I draw another 2 inch by 2 inch square, 
when I get to this point, instead of again reaching up and typing two inches on my keyboard, I can save that step and do it much faster if I bring my mouse down my cursor and hover over this endpoint. Don't click on it, just hover over it. And then I move my mouse up and notice how I have two green dashed tracking lines that it, it's using to find the end point. It's, it's finding that corner for me. And that is what that object snap tracking is doing. So I can click and it's going to automatically find it. And then I come down and click on that end point and my square is done. If I turn that off and show you again, it's still tracking. But when I get to the point where I want to drag that line up so I can find the corner, you can see it's not doing it. So you want to make sure your object snap tracking is turned on. It's a great tool. That's it for this tutorial. So just to review, polar tracking, object snaps, and object snap tracking, three great tools I recommend that you always have on and experiment with. Thanks for watching.